Hello and welcome to another Purveyor Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to cover a lot of, I received a lot of user questions regarding luminosity masks and dodging and burning and uh, why I'm such a big fan of luminosity masks uh, versus doing the traditional uh, dodge and burn tactics. And so I went ahead and selected this photo as a good candidate here to uh, over exaggerate uh, you know dodging and burning okay I think it's a perfect candidate for that um, so we all know okay to dodge and burn uh, you have several options and several ways of doing it you could uh, make a new layer okay and then you could come up and fill it with 50% gray all right and then you could change the blend mode to overlay, which essentially sets it back. Anything 50% gray will not affect the image. And then I could switch over to the dodge tool and um, oops, switch to black and white. Okay. And now anything that I do, uh, I can affect the image. So. I'm on dodge, so that's going to lighten, so I could brush and brush the areas that I want to lighten. And again, this requires me to have the talent to highlight the areas, you know, looking for light and darknesses and, and then hitting them. Uh, and it takes a lot of time and uh, a lot of patience. and. One of the first things that we learned is it's real easy to ruin an image if you're not careful with your brush strokes. So, there we go. There's the before and the after. Okay. So, it works. Does a good job. Um, <clears throat> another way of doing it is, we'll throw this away. The other way to do it is uh, to make a curves adjustment layer. And... We're going to dodge, so we're going to raise it up, okay? And then we're going to invert the mask, Control or Command I, okay? So now it's not affecting any of the image. And while we paint in white, we are going to dodge the areas, okay? So I come in and dodge the areas here and... Uh, and again, you have to watch everything. You have to watch your flow and your effect because if you don't want to be too hard, too heavy-handed, and it can really look terrible, right? And I'm doing this incredibly fast just for demonstration purposes only. But again, there's the second way of doing a dodge and burn. Now, what's the difference between dodging and burning? Uh, it's nothing more than just changing it from light to dark. Okay, that's the only difference. Uh, so, like I said, these methods work. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, but they require time, skill, uh, and a lot of patience to make sure that you carefully dodge and burn the correct areas. Don't make it look blotchy. Don't make it look so forth. Okay, so I'm going to throw this away. Now, luminosity masks, on the other hand, do an automated process of what I just did manually. Okay, manually, I went and looked and said, okay, what was the light part of the images? What were the dark part of the images? Where are the highlights of the image? I did that with my own eye, and then I dodged and burned areas accordingly. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could just turn around and say, hey, would you just uh, brighten the highlights for me? And then would you do the shadows and, and darken the shadows for me. And so I don't have to do any brushing or any work at all. That's what luminosity masks is about. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do it the automatic luminosity mask way. Uh, we're gonna go in to the channels and we're gonna control or command click on the RGB layer, right on the picture. And you're gonna notice that we now have the dancing marching ants in the image. What is his selected, okay, is the highlights of the image. And that's what we want to work with, 
right? Because we want to dodge those highlights. So go back to layers and then you just simply select a curves adjustment layer. Now, one user last week wrote in and said, I, I don't have this adjustment panel. I don't know how to do that. Not a problem. If you don't see this adjustment panel, simply go up to window and then select adjustments. Okay. And that will automatically make the adjustments appear for you. All right. So again, we're going to do a curve adjustment and now you notice that it's automatically made a mask for us and that mask is just the highlights. We can raise that up and we just burned all of the highlights Now, I'm going to take this layer and Command and Control J to duplicate it. And then I'm going to click on the mask and hit Command I, Command and Control I, okay? And now it reverses the mask. And guess what? When we reverse the mask, if we were on the highlights, now we're on the shadows. So now I can turn around and just darken the shadows. And let me go ahead and make this into a group here. And now I can turn this on and off. There's the original image. And there's the after image. And I can always come in if I don't like the effect. I can just open up and say, okay, I, I don't like this. It's a little too much. Uh, bring it back a little bit. And I can do that. I could adjust the... Uh, darks and say, ah, oh, it's not enough. I want more. I want more drama. And there you go. Again, it's non-destructive and it's adjustable. So there you go. And that's why I'm a luminosity mask fan because it automates me working with images. Okay. I love the ability to just be able to work with an image and adjust the areas of the photo that I'd like to work with, okay? Because luminosity masks work with highlights, midtones, shadows, and so forth. It automates my dodging and burning for me. And it's a big, big, valuable tool, especially for landscapes. Uh, you'll find this extremely useful, okay? Again, there's nothing wrong with doing the manual methods, okay? If, if you want to do the, the curves and then brush stroke in every highlight and every shadow, you know, that does a great job. It just takes time and it takes a lot of skill to make sure you do a good job. My way, the luminosity mask way, it's automated. It does what I do by eye automatically for me. So there you go the before and the after and I didn't have to do a single brush stroke so hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you can see that this could be useful in your workflow uh, until next week you guys take care